Well, hello, people of uh, the internet. I know it feels like it's been forever since you saw me. I made it. I made a promise, guys. All right, and you thought that I was gonna break it. How little you think of me. In fact, I've been recording since 11:33, and it's 12:29, like an hour, and I haven't even got down what I want to say, how I want to say it. So, bitch. You better listen up, because this is my last take on this shit. What I want to talk to you about today is a little bit heavier than what I usually talk to you about, which is, I don't even know what I usually talk to you about. But it changes. As you can see, there's a lot of shit that goes on on this channel in a short period of time. We're going to try to compile it into shit that makes sense. If you're watching this video from my channel, you should check out Weight Loss with a Bite because it's also posted on that channel and that channel is specifically about weight and body image and vice versa. If you're watching this from Weight Loss with a Bite, come check out Gigi Guerra because that's my private channel and you know what? I love new people. So I know that there is a lot being said on YouTube about body image and body issues. I want to clarify something. I don't want to be conflating health with body image and I don't want you to think that I'm conflating the two of them. Having a positive body image should have nothing to do with how big or how small you are. It should have everything to do with loving yourself and the confidence you have in yourself, being who you are. So this is something that's huge in society because you're told to be yourself then you're bombarded with all these images of people that look nothing like you and that's for the majority of us in terms of what we can look like society has a very limited perspective of that while you're being bombarded with women and men who look a certain way and you know you look absolutely nothing like them you're told to you know be happy with what you've got it's quite hard it's reasonable that as a society as a whole nation we all together share this self-image issue so I'm sure that while this is particularly my story, that it is also a story that we can all identify with in some way or another. Two months ago, I was at the largest point in my life that I've ever been. I was coming from about 130, 140 in high school with body image issues then and with a terrible eating disorder to 200 pounds. At 200 pounds, I felt uncomfortable with myself and I felt lost and I felt isolated. The story of loss and isolation is one that everybody can understand. There are six point something billion people in this world and somehow we each managed to feel alone. I felt trapped inside a tunnel. I felt like I couldn't get out. I felt like I was in a constant cycle, a roller coaster of just eating and eating and not knowing how to stop. See that's the problem with, with having an eating disorder, whether you under eat or over eat. Relationship with food is quite skewed. I was just eating and eating and let me give you a little scenario of what it looked like. Picture a box of chocolate cake or a box of chocolate cookies. And I say chocolate because I mean the process kind of shit. I couldn't stop eating that shit. I mean I couldn't stop eating that shit. I would eat about five to ten cookies and feel all right with what I've eaten. But I would continue to eat because I just felt like I couldn't stop. I couldn't control myself. I couldn't control my appetite. But I just never felt content. I felt a loss within myself. And I felt the food can fulfill or fill up that loss. I was in this continual cycle and roller coaster. And you know, every time you gain weight, the world treats you the same way as if you've murdered someone. What happened was that it, it just clicked somehow. Something clicked that I was doing things wrong. Anyway, all this to say that happiness doesn't come from without, it comes from within. My binge eating was a result of what I was going through at the time. It was the result of a whole bunch of things. Losing control of my life. It's maybe a result of feeling powerless and feeling most of all, and probably the number one out of everything, stress. This might sound as if I'm speaking out specifically to people with body image, but I'm speaking out to everybody. Coming to any point in your life where you feel lost and alone, you're inside a tunnel and you cannot find the light. The darkness is encroaching and you can't reach out because you don't know what you're reaching out to. I just want to tell you that you're not alone. I, I have massive confidence issues and I mean right now I'm in between whether or not I should go on with education, finish up the ma or start the masters in the first place, or whether or not I should just graduate and call it a quits with school. And I don't know what to do, but I just know that with everything, with every hard decision, there is 
always an answer. And if you just ride out the storm, if you just walk through that hollow dark road, you will definitely see the light at the end of the tunnel. Check out amanger.wordpress.com. It is my food blog with my friend who's living in Houston, who I miss very much, so you should check it out. Winner, you thought I would forget. I remember, Naomi Greenberg. Please contact me, Naomi, so that this is not weird. When I, yeah, because I don't even know where you live. So, contact me with your address, so I know that you're creeping me out like I'm creeping you out. And, uh, alright, I guess we're done. Or, um, let's see, uh, oh my god, this is why, this is why, this is why I haven't finished recording, because do you hear this noise, do you hear this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk over it, I'm sorry, it is so damn flipping loud, alright, but we gotta do what we gotta do, okay, etc. And if you're watching this, and vice versa, uh, are we done? So this video is about body image and body. Oh my God, mon Dieu, sacre bleu, tabarnak, qu'est-ce que la fuck? Shut the fuck up. Cake, cookies, whatever. And I would eat one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten.